Hey guys, how are we? And welcome back to another video. Um, I'm a bit excited. I've now got a side screen here. I know it's probably not a big thing to everyone, but it's a big thing to me because um, I can finally see myself and frame up everything behind me. I know where to stand, but I've just got to make sure I remember not to look over here and look directly at you and talk to you. I um, hope everyone is well. Um, so yeah, if you follow me over on Instagram by 20th, my new Instagram page, and you know the whole backstory if you've, you've been following my videos. Um, but yeah, I've just picked up the 16 to 35 from G Master F2.8. Absolutely beautiful lens. I'm so happy with it. Um, I'll do a video on my first impressions of it. Um, I know it's been around a while, but it's always nice to give my opinion on it as well. Um, and I've paired it with a new body. Um, so comment below which Sony body you think I've got. Um, it's got a flip screen, so see which one you think I've got. Um, then I'll see future videos, I'll be using that body. And quick story is I traded in my A7 III and obviously I got this body because there was a fantastic deal um, with the camera. So yeah, I just traded it in. But let's talk about the title. That is the Tamron 35 to 150 F2 2.8 from Tamron. Um, I've got this lens probably about six months ago. If you're, if you're an old school subscriber, then you know I did a POV night photography of me using the lens. I've got it here. Um, I finally got it back last month. It's a freaking absolute beast of a lens. It's a workhorse. Um, it's an all-rounder. If you've, you've probably watched some of the videos from other people as well, it is. It's an absolute workhorse. The vocal length on this is absolutely perfect. Um, hopefully, I will be adding this to my camera bag for 2023. Um, I'll be doing my what's in my camera bag as well, so you can see what's going on with my gear moving forward. Um, but yeah, let's talk about this. Um, as I said, um, I picked it up six months ago, but unfortunately, I only had it for a week um, because it then had to be moved on to the next YouTube uh, reviewer um, to review it and all that sort of stuff. So I only had it for a week, so I just did a quick POV on it, but I never got the chance to do like my first impressions on, on, on this lens. Um, it's, it's got a bit of weight to it. You're looking just under 1.2 kilos or 1,165 grams if you want to be precise. It's a beautiful lens for street photography. You've got an aperture of f2 to 2.8. So it's a variable aperture. Um, I can, I, let me just read off my notes. Um, so f2 is at 35 to 40 mil. 2.2 is 40 to 60. 2.5 at 60 to 80. Then 2.8 at 80 to 150, which is still, which is to me is perfect, especially night photography. This is a beast, especially paired with the a7 III, which I did. Um, and I can't wait to pair it with my new Sony body. Um, so yeah, it was absolutely, it's, it's, yeah, it's a workhorse. I'll flick up some images over here. You can see some of the car photography that I got with it as well in some recent car shoots that I went on around Melbourne. So I've been really getting into my car photography and going to various events. Black Label was the last one I went to. Uh, before that, I went to Porsche by the Bay, which was in Elwood Beach in Melbourne. And I got to meet some fantastic photographers down there. Um, just, you know, just talking about Instagram, talking about reels, just, yeah, just talking about everything really. Um, and they asked me about YouTube, um, how to get started. So it was just a great way to meet the community. Also build my brand up uh, in car photography as well, because I'm really enjoying that side of the photography. Um, this is perfect for car photography, I think. Um, portraits, wedding, landscape, street photography, just, I just think, as I said at the start, it's an all-rounder, it's an all-rounder beast. I call it the beast because it is. Um, you've got 82 mil thread on this bad boy, if I remember rightly. Yep, 82 mil thread. 
I just to double check. I paired this with an ND filter that I've got. I'm waiting for a polarizer as well for car photography. I've just purchased a mist filter as well, which I'll chuck on it and hopefully get a night misty sort of POV. Um, external zoom, again, from Tamron. I'll just show you there. There you go, external and all the way down. Again, it's got the, all the various custom buttons, which you plug in with the USB, which you then can customize these all as well. So if you press that one, that could be like your manual um, focus, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it is a very smooth zoom. Some of the Tamron lenses that I've used have been a bit, bit jaggy, um, but this one is very smooth. In the future, will dust and stuff get down there? I don't know, um, but you can just, I don't know if you can hear it. Let me just put it near my mic. So yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just, it's just a modern look again from Tamron. It just looks amazing. Um, the low light beast, you could call this as well. Um, minimal vocal length as well on this is like 33 centimeters. So freaking, it's like macro. Yeah, you can get, again, I'm just absolutely blown away um, with it as well. You're looking at about two and a half thousand Aussie dollars um, for the lens. But I know at the moment, the lens is really hard to get hold of. Um, I, like I said before, I really want to add this lens to my kit bag, but just don't think Tamron have any at the moment. So I'm very lucky that I can use this one. And there's a few people that have DM me asking me if I can get the 35 to 154. And I'm like, fortunately I can't. The, the, you just got to shop around, especially if you're from Australia, we're, we're really finding to struggle to get lenses. Like even with this 1635 G Master, I think there was only one in stock and I, I, uh, two in stock this one and the one on display. So, and she didn't want to give me the display one, obviously, she wanted to give me one out of the out of the box, but that's another story. But that just gives you an idea of, um, for us trying to get stuff at the moment. I don't know why, um, I'm not a sort of expert in, in that as well. Um, but again, it's just such a versatile lens. I'll grab it again, sorry, just so you can see it. Um, I like to show it off more closely. It's just, yeah, it's just, it's absolutely beautiful. So you get a lens hood on it as well, but I haven't got it on because I've been um, using the filters. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just a beautiful. You've got really weather sealed there. Really good around there. Yeah, it's just a workhorse. So if you're thinking about a vocal length that um, you want a, a sort of an all rounder, that definitely 35 150 i just think is absolutely it's insane 35 to 150 like some of the street photography i've got with it as well is is stunning and it's still at 2.8 even f2 is absolutely crazy um for the price as well i think it's it's reasonable um f for me i think that's reasonable um but yeah it's just yeah it's just an absolute low light beast um again it comes with the box the the standard tamron white box um and yeah it's just absolutely beautiful um, but like i said guys i don't go crazy on the reviews um it's more my my kind of first impressions is aimed at a beginner photographer like myself i still see myself as a not beginner photographer but photographer that's always learning about technology. I, I don't know like the ins and outs of, it's this so-and-so glass, it's this, this, this. I'm, I'm rambling a little bit, but I sometimes just get a few comments from people saying, oh, this is not a review, this is this, this is this. And that's where I'm putting my hands up and saying, I'm not a tech ex expert. Um, so I just like to give my sort of open the box, first impressions for you, would I buy, would I not, um, but yeah, I just want to do a quick video, quick first impressions of the of the lens. Again, a massive thank you to Tamron Australia for always looking after me for these videos and providing me the lenses. If you don't know, I'm doing a Tamron photo walk next month and it's sold out. 
So a massive thank you to everyone that is going to come along to the photo walk next month. I look forward to meeting you all. I will be doing some personal giveaway prizes on the night um, from DigiDirect, who are the sponsor. DigiDirect, is obviously, if you're from Australia, is a, is a local camera shop here in Melbourne or Australia. Um, they're sponsoring the night. And yeah, I, I just found, I found out it sold out within 24 hours. So I'm really blown away that obviously people want to come and hang out with me and, and stuff like that, which I'm really looking forward to meeting you all um, and just hanging out, giving you my tips um, on photography. Um, it's a neon theme night, so we're going to be chasing a load of neon signs. I've got some models for the night um, and just, yeah, just get to meet you guys, give back to the community. It's a free event. I'm not getting paid for it. Um, I just want to build a community here in Melbourne and build a brand around us Melbourne photographers and to support all the, uh, all the creators um, in Melbourne and just give back a little bit. Um, so yeah, again, thank you so much for that. Um, if you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe button. Um, and yeah, hopefully uh, we can crack on with 2023 and I can start to push out more content for you. Um, but anyway, that's enough talk. I hope that makes sense um, with the Tamron. Um, would I buy it? Well, you know the answer to that. I would buy it. It's the absolute beast of a lens. I love it. I would buy it for the value. Yeah, great value. Um, comment below if you would buy it or if you already have it. If you're watching this video and you just wanted to listen to someone else's sort of uh, first impressions on it, but if you have it, let me know and what you think to it. Um, if you've had problems trying to get hold of one, um, I'd love to hear that as well, so comment below. Any video ideas with it, I've only got it for probably another couple of weeks because then obviously it's the photo walk and I want people to use it there. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about that I can see myself over here um and yeah just just want to hit that record button make some videos um i've got anyway i'm rambling again hopefully uh enjoy my rambles of talk um but yeah i like to keep things raw and honest and just keep building this youtube channel and i just want to say again thank you so much to all the new subscribers i think i've just hit 1.2 to need 1.3 subs on here so I um, like to think I'm building a momentum here. But yeah, anyway, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.